Hi there, and welcome to lesson two here um, from the scientific journals and articles section of Life Sciences 11. So I want to explain what your actual assignment is. So you are going to be filling out um, some summaries on a couple of different areas. So if I go to the research assignment template, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I put your name and your date in here. And you can see what um, I'm looking for. So you're going to be looking at a couple of different um, articles, and you're going to be summarizing what you learned, um, what they found in the research, why that's important, and just to provide like a brief synopsis of this. I want you to do this in your own words. Please do not copy and paste from the article. And I want you to tell me what you found interesting and or surprising. So you know maybe. You know they learned something interesting you wouldn't have known before make sure that you add some personal comments as well things like i thought um you know i was interested in other things and then you need to provide an apa citation to each of the articles uh, that you read in alphabetical order at the end so i'm going to teach that in lesson three so each section of this should be 175 to 275 words um so that's what these sections are for. And then you can write the article um, name here. Um, so you can, whatever, whatever name you end up doing. So you can put your name there. Other one you can choose, name two, and then uh, name three for the third one that you do. And then I will grade it um, out of five um, based on what you write. And also your work set it out of five. So when you are um, choosing, Number one is you're going to be doing a research paper from Karen Hodges, who will speak about. Um, you get a choice um, in paper number two, and then you can choose either a narwhal or a science article from number three. So if I go back to the course page, um, these are all of Karen Hodges' research papers. And Karen Hodges um, is a professor that I had at UBCO. Um, she's very nice, she's very wonderful. And I took a bunch of her courses from her when I was in my Bachelor of Biology. And she recommended these papers for high school students to read. So I actually sent her an email and said, hey, I'd love to use your research. Um, so you can take a look at any of these if you'd like. Um, photo surveys, bobcats and lynx, wildlife and fire. These are some of the things that she studies and she looks over. So you'll be able to click on the link and um, and go from there. So do do do. If I go back, um, that is option number one. You get to choose one of these ones. Um, in option number two, um, I'll close hers. You get a choice. So you can literally do anything you want. Um, you will look at Google Scholar, and this is where you can search um, journal articles. So if you have something that you're interested in, um, you can do that. Um, based on Mr. Kuchma, if you remember lesson one, um, or actually, is it lesson one? No, I think in chapter one, sorry, in taxonomy, in the taxonomy challenge, um, I like the hectoroid dolphin. I did a big research project on the hectoroid dolphin when I was in um, university. Um, so Hector dolphin is its common name, but you can see hectori is its scientific name. So there are a ton of research papers. I mean, not a ton, but there's a fair amount of research papers on this species. I think probably because they're really cute. Um, the smallest dolphin species, and yeah, I really like them. Um, one thing that uh, you may notice, um, or maybe not, but Dawson um, is mentioned a couple times here. Um, so Dawson is a specific um, professional when it comes to Hectori dolphin. And she's done a lot of research on it. Um, so if I were to just choose one of these um, one of these articles, um, I wonder if I have to pay for this one or if it's all going to be here. Oh, no, this is actually a book. So this is actually a chapter in a book. Um, let's go back and see. Is this a book or is this an article? This is an article. I don't get the whole full thing, so I just get the abstract. Um, so if I went back, I could maybe search through one. Uh, let's just pop in incidents of catch, incidents of catches. Um, let's see if I'll be able to access the full PDF. Nope. 
making me pay for them all. Um, so what you should be able to do is hopefully find one that you can access. Um, and I, I could do, um, here we go. So here's a full um, PDF article. The abstract, a selective annotated bibliography for Hector's Dolphin. Um, so this could be kind of interesting. So I could do this as my, um, as my, uh, my choice. And you can literally Google Scholar anything that you want. And that is what you will choose for the second one. Um, and then for the third one, you have the choice of either choosing a, um, let me go back to the course page, um, either a Narwhal article or a science article. So Narwhal articles um, are a little bit less super scientific um, and they are by a really great group of people. Um, and they study all sorts of stuff all across Canada. Um, if you scroll down to, is it our ethics? Um, I think it's actually in, scroll down, about us. So what their team is all about um, is they really want to tell really great stories about science and they want to bring um, just information to the the public about things that are happening in BC, good things, bad things, um, and everything in between. Um, so yeah, I often will read uh, Narwhal articles here and there. So you can choose one of these ones, anyone that seems interesting to you, a pipeline to nowhere, uh, endangered baby caribou, um, looks like some sort of cleanup disaster. Um, predicted to, yeah, there's like, there's lots of really cool articles that you could read through there. Um, and you can choose that instead. Um, if you want to go the sciencey route, um, you can choose a science article. I don't think you're going to have access to the full article, but you probably will have access to the abstract and stuff. So um, if you go here, you can literally go to current issue. You can go to their archive. They have so many articles. In lesson one, I talked about this journal, Science, along with Nature, as being the ones with the highest impact factor. Um, so yeah, you can definitely jump into here. You can see I'm looking at this on July 27th, 2020. So there's some that were very recent, um, but you can go to different collections and um, yeah, you could, you'll have a lot of fun. If you're interested in the coronavirus, because that's a hot topic right now, you could find a bunch of science articles that were posted really recently on that. Um, so yeah, that is your third option. And so once you've chosen your three articles, you're gonna do the summary. And you're going to write about that in your research article here, uh, or sorry, in your research assignment. And then in the next lesson, I'm going to talk about your work cited. All right. So catch you in lesson three.